I told you this guy's a genius. Self-proclaimed, maybe. Well, as long as it works for him. Exactly my point. Awesome. Ta-da! Hey, if my YouTube channel still exists, you know, I know you shouldn't project bad things onto your life by speaking about them. But I feel like, no, I'm just being honest. And I'm trying to be modest, but it's hard because I have a lot of qualities. This is a pot. This is a wooden thing. This coconut fat. I'm running out of oil. That to me is one of the worst things in the world. What we're gonna see. All right. I have my phone completely turned off. This is leek, I'm making cauliflower soup. This is not really fresh. It was saved from the supermarket. Like this, I chucked out. No, I'm just gonna make this fairly quick. You see, I cut this because I'm gonna blend it. If I would have coconut cream, you know, if you've got money, you can do this with coconut cream. You can use regular cream if you want. I prefer coconut cream because it's vegetarian. Now, yeah, I didn't rinse it properly because leek often has sand, bits of sand. Because I already don't feel like cooking. And I don't feel like recording it either. And that's what happens if you're being rejected too often. You just say, nah. All right, let's just try to make this a great soup. Um, Now all I'm going to put in is bay leaves, I would say I'm going to add one big one and one medium sized one, at least that's what I think the sizes are. I have no pepper, which is all right. I will use, I add cumin later, but you won't see that. Now this is just to get you going. You know, I'm not overly concerned about amounts, right? What you probably have to do is just fry this in fat until it starts getting a little bit brown. Now you can't, could add a normal onion. You can even add a few potatoes. Right, so I can make potato, I can put potatoes in. Or I can bake potatoes in the oven, but like I said, I don't have a lot of fat.
which means that if I bake potatoes in the oven without fat, it's going to be terrible. And I mean terrible as I say terrible because I usually mean what I say but not always. Sometimes I just say things just because I like saying them or just because I like confusing people. Now this is probably supposed to be about food. This is coffee with sugar already in it and cardamom. I always or most of the times drink coffee with cardamom right I know I know I know good food should take time because if you're overly like if you're too fast paced no, I just wanted to rush this because I think everything else is more important but what I realize I'm lacking energy and the only way I can get energy is by yeah how do I get energy well I have to either somebody comes and gives it to me or I give it to myself and cooking at home alone is one way to feed yourself. This is what you call self-love. I invest time to make food for myself and then I eat it with the same love and passion that I would put into it, into eating and cooking as when somebody would be here with me. Which means when I realize that I'm trying to speed this up because it's annoying me, then I'm clinging again to the idea that there should be somebody else here with me. But there isn't. But there's me. I mean, I'm my own best company. I mean, I say I hear voices. I'm just having conversations with myself. I don't know really what I am. You know, I have a lot of depth. You know, I'm the tallest mountain I ever found and maybe in terms, of, in terms of physical height, you know, I use the whole thing. I also don't peel it, you know, I'm not concerned. If I would do this for others, I would probably peel it, but why bother? At the moment, you see that's now... For me, you know, I'm not that picky. Some people are really picky. And there's nothing more annoying than a picky eater. Yeah, I'm just gonna put it all into the pot already. Now this was, you know, I'm either going to wait until, uh, oh yeah, it's actually, is it cauliflower? There's a broccoli. Wait. It's broccoli. I'm not sure what I said. Maybe I said cauliflower. But I'm making broccoli soup. I mean, this is the same. But with cauliflower, I probably would use different spices. But cumin works for both of them. With cauliflower soup, you could add curry. You know. You also have to think a bit about color, because this is green. You know, I wouldn't necessarily add curry, because the color would look a bit like that. So, you know, to me, eating is also about aesthetics. So I pay attention, like, I would not take a salad with mayonnaise and turn it into a soup. I mean, I mean, if you use mayonnaise, you can't, I've tried it, you cannot freeze it. So I'm often wondering if I wanna make mayonnaise for myself 
and keep it good for a long time, I actually don't know how that's supposed to work. You know, how do they do it? How do they do it, the factory produce? You know, do they just put so much stuff into that so that it stays good? Do they pack it under vacuum? Um, you know, I don't know. But even mayonnaise that you've opened in a jar, it still tastes edible after plenty of time, which is actually a bit worrying. You know, if you know you're gonna blend it, you do not have to cut it into really small pieces because you know you're gonna blend it, right? You don't even have to get rid of this bit because you know you're gonna blend it. And you could even say it gives you extra nutrients. Some people would probably say, yeah, but it's toxic. Yeah, I don't know. You know, I think I can transform anything if I add love. Which may be true for meat. I'm not quite sure. What I don't like about meat is not just the way it's being produced. It's also... Yeah, it's mainly the way it's being produced. But it's also... Yeah, actually, that's what I'm... Because I have no oil at the moment. But I do have the fluid of um, beans that I used for another meal. Yeah. I'm not sure why I'm putting it in now already. Maybe we can call this a mistake. Because it's just gonna give some taste. All right. Now this one. I'm just going to give it a quick rinse. Now this turns into a fairly... Yeah, this was a very quick rinse. I mean, when you know how to cook, then cooking turns into something... You know, it's just about doing it. And that's the same way with creating content online when you've done this you know a hundred times then all that keeps you from doing it again is yourself so I have no excuse because there's nobody here to cook for me there's also nobody here to cook with me so all I can do is just you know stop moping and simply say hey I'm just gonna cook a meal because the more I get used to cooking, you know, you just have to think like, you know, there is a possibility that I will meet a woman or a man and we gonna have children. And when I'm used to making a meal, then, you know, let's say you have two kids now, your wife's sick, your kids are sick. And you think you have to wait for a woman to make a meal for you or for somebody else. Or all you can offer them is, you know, just like instant noodles. You know, I'm a good chef. I can make vegan burgers. You know, I can make cake. You know, I can make all kinds of things. I can bake potatoes. I can make a vegan chili, you know, sin carne, I can make, you know, anything because I've cooked so much 
that I know I just have to open the fridge and then I can whip up something. Okay, my fridge is really a challenge because there's basically nothing in it. And... But yeah, so if I'm in the habit of cooking, then cooking with somebody is much better than thinking you have to invite someone to cook with them. And there's a double meaning to that, not really, but a deeper meaning because let's say you want to invite a woman for dinner and you don't actually cook yourself because you feel like there should be a woman to cook for and you just invite her basically to have sex then it's dishonest and she can feel it but if you cook anyway for yourself you know you can basically invite anyone because to you it makes no difference but if you have the feeling there's somebody that you could cook for yeah then why not I mean if you say hey yesterday I made this meal oh wow he's actually cooking for himself you know and maybe somebody says hey maybe we can cook together one time that actually never happened to me you know it's always this you know somebody says maybe we can cook together one time but it's never happening you know I don't invite you you don't invite me you know that's just very easy sometimes people want to be invited by me and sometimes I felt I wanted to be invited by others and nothing of this has ever happened for a long long time and it's okay and I just have to get used to the idea that I may be alone for the rest of my life because believe it or not I feel like I'm getting really old I mean I feel like this is really strange my life's like either about to change or it's just over it's a very strange feeling I feel like I'm running out of time and I don't know what that means do I have to live my life in such a way like super rushed yeah just watch always out for your fingers you know I'm always paying attention so I hold my fingers like this so I can cut like that and when you want to have a conversation while cooking then what I suppose you should do is first practice you know how to not cut yourself and then while you're talking you never cut without looking what you're doing and if somebody's moving around you and is really agitated you just stop cutting stuff and you say hey can you just go somewhere else you know if you want to jump around you know just go for a walk or something and when you come back the food's gonna be ready Because if somebody's like really nervous, it can actually destroy the whole meal. And I'm just saying that because that's how I feel. I mean, I've been working with people in the kitchen. And they wanted my attention all the time. And when they didn't get it, you know, they felt really insecure. And the way I'm cooking is, you know, if I start cooking, I'm gone. And, you know, I like cooking. So I don't have to stand around and talk to you, you know, because if I'm cooking, then I'm cooking. And then I don't have to have a conversation with you and because to me cooking is also meditation which is why in a way I'm reluctant but I can keep meditating while I'm talking you know I can make anything a meditative practice
even though it's hard. But at first, you know, just learn to cook. Just cook everything. Cook as much as you can. You know, try homemade mayonnaise. You know, if you fail three times, just keep going. You know, try it. Everything you would normally eat, you know, everything you think you would like to have now, just learn how to make it yourself from scratch. You know, it's very hard. Try falafel. You know, I'm gonna make that one time. But it's basically, yeah, that's for another video. I don't have to shoot all my... Yeah, for a good soup, I'm just gonna add water now. I'm just gonna add water now. First salt. Also running out of salt by the way. So, you know, when you hear me cooking, just realize that there are people that should, can just go to the shops because they have all the resources and all the money that they think they need to be happy. Now, I'm just cooking with what I have. No, so if you think you're missing something, think again, right? I would like to have butter, I would like to have jam, I would like to have peanut butter, I would like to have, you know, more of that stevia malt sugar, I would like to have so many things, but I don't have them. I would like to be with a woman, you know, maybe I would like to have a car, I would like to just earn a living with what I'm doing, and... I don't know if, you know, I can continue doing this. I don't know if I will be able to earn money with selling books and doing YouTube. I just live like I can. And you can call that being stupid. You can call that having faith. You know, I stayed up basically the whole night. I worked on a book. I rendered videos. I played Crash Bandicoot. You know, I would like to have lots of beer here so I can just forget all the shit that I'm missing. But I don't do any of these things. You know, I just suck it up. I say, hey, what's next? You know, that's my mentality for a long time now. I just say, what's next? I said once to a woman, you know, I'm not gonna run after women anymore. And she was shitting her pants over it. And we basically never spoke again. Because she thought, yeah, if he really wants me, he's gonna chase me. Because she didn't have the balls to come after me. Well, if you don't have the balls to come after me, then how is this going to work? You know, I cannot chase you just because you have some insecurities, because your father didn't want to spend time with you or something. You know, I cannot make up for that. You know, if you like me, you're gonna put in the work. Because I already showed you that I was prepared to put in the work. And from you came nothing. And that's basically how it has always been. And at one point you just say, you know what? Fuck it. You know, I can cook for myself. I know what I have to give. I just give it on the internet. Right, so I'm often annoyed all the time. I basically am all the time annoyed. Everything's a struggle. 
You just have to breathe through it. You just have to move through it. You know, I don't know why I was really tired. I felt burned out. Because I worked effortlessly. That's not true. Because I never work without effort. You know, there's always strain. You know, when you're working, you know, it's always hard in some way. And... You know, that's just part of the challenge. You know, you either do it or you don't. Like, that, this is not a lot of work. Most of the time that it takes to do this, you know, okay, maybe once you're a bit better at cooking and you're certain you won't cut yourself or something. Because that's also, some people are afraid to do something wrong. What are you gonna do wrong? I mean, just make sure you're not too stupid with experimenting. I mean, I'm not gonna put sugar into this. You know, I'm not gonna put mayonnaise into this. You know, because it's a soup. Right, so there are certain basic rules for cooking and you can only, only learn that by experimenting and by also finding your own style, like what spices do you like, there's so many spices out there, you just have to experiment a little, just go to an Asian shop and just look at the spices, buy some, go home and use them, don't use them all, maybe just use cumin, yeah, bay leaves is a standard, just look at you know, what's the traditional cuisine for where you come from? No, I'm not perfect. Maybe I am for someone. And that's what I'm trying to find out. I'm just trying to be the best version of who I think I could be. So that I can be with somebody that I think... is open for that. I mean, I've had women courtshipping me. But I always said, you know, if you want something, you have to go the extra mile. You have to show me that you want it. Because, you know, I already know what I can do. I already know it. If you don't know what you can do, then we will have nothing to say to each other because sex is just gonna be boring. This is cumin now. Ground cumin. I'm just gonna let the water run. This is something you use for making coffee, but I'm gonna use that for another video just because. It's better to just stretch it out a little. Because if I fire it all into one video, you know, then I have one more day to record. Spices give taste, they give eteric, et, et, eterical oils, that's the word. Essential oils maybe. Alright, now let's filter water. I don't know, just fill it. 
until it's like roughly covered. And then, I mean, the broccoli itself would probably need less than 20 minutes, but potatoes need a good 20 minutes to cook. But if they cook in a, in a soup, they usually take longer. Yeah, I will add more salt later. No, actually, because potatoes suck up a lot of the salt. You, know, you don't want to over salt it. But well, what you got, you got. So. And it just has to cook now. I'm just gonna show you. Nah, I'm not gonna show you. You just have to start. You just have to start. You know, that's all I can tell you. You just have to start. Right. You just have to start, you know. Until it gets easy and easier. And then maybe you've got happy family. So if you don't know how to make pancakes, you know, start making them. You can even try animal shapes, you know, for me it's just pancakes. But there are people that make real images. And they probably only started because they had children. And they just loved making them smile. And that's what it's about, right? And that's the hardest thing of all.